Hi, I'm Tony Storino, and I am a mechanical engineering student at UWM. The teaching staff at UWM has always been excellent. We have one professor today with us, Professor Andrew Cohen. You're a new professor at UWM. How do you like the school so far? I love it. It's my dream job. When we talked earlier, you told me that you work with biologists. How was that experience? It's the best part of my job. Um, the biology, cell biology right now is going through a renaissance where they're able to start to capture movies showing live cells and subcellular organelles um, undergoing the processes of disease and development um, and really begin to understand uh, how one cell develops into an organism and a lot of the really cool stuff that happens in biology. That sounds awesome. What are some equipment that you use when you do this research? The biologists start with some really fancy, expensive microscopes that are capable of keeping whatever they're studying alive for an extended period of time while they capture images of it every so, free, every so often. So every few minutes, they will capture an image and they record these images over time. And then we used computer engineering techniques, tools like MATLAB and C++, to analyze these image sequence of data. Now these videos up here, can you explain some of these? Like, what are we seeing right now? So these are all very different biological applications. They were all captured um, in different labs throughout the country, actually throughout North America. Uh, all of them showing live cellar tissue being imaged over time. So in this case, we have a neural prosthetic device being inserted into brain tissue. Up here, you're looking actually at two things. There's this green protein that is shown on a developing neuron. And what we found is that the distribution of the protein in the processes of the neuron controls which of the processes gets to become the axon or the dominant process. In the immune system, these are uh, thymocyte cells. These are T cell precursors um, shown in green, associating with dendritic cells in orange. And we're interested in measuring the associations and quantifying them in various populations of thymocytes. That sounds really interesting. And then this is the last, the last one up here is one that I've been working on for years now. And it's a, a very hard problem to try to measure the motion. This is an axon here. And we're looking at teeny little bundles of proteins being transported along the axon. And they want to quantify that so that they can understand the processes of neurodegenerative diseases. They know that it relates to diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and Huntington's. And so as they start to study the processes that cause these diseases or are symptomatic of these diseases, they need ways to automate this because it's a really hard problem. It's nearly impossible to do accurately by hand. What exactly are axons? So the axon is, and you can kind of see it up here, it's the long process of the neuron. Um, a neuron is a cell in the brain or the central nervous system, and the axon can extend out to the periphery of your body. So they're the biggest cells in your body, the neurons, and the axon is a long process that needs to be maintained. And they find that in neurodegenerative diseases, ALS, Huntington's, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, that deficiencies in the transport of some proteins along the axon plays an early and they think possibly a causative effect in the disease process. Now what inspired you to go into this field? The reason that I'm still here actually has to do with this movie. Uh, I went up to Montreal to visit with Michelle Cayouette who works at the Institute for Clinical Research in Montreal and at McGill University. And I spent two days at this incredible uh, biological Research Institute. There was just a seven-story building um, full of people. The hospital on the first floor up to the sixth floor where they were doing basic developmental bi biology. And I watched how these guys were doing their biology. Um, you know, these are real scientists, beakers and test tubes, and they did biology like I did software. And I thought, these guys are really on the track to uncover what makes the dynamics of biology happen as opposed to sort of the static side that, that people have always historically looked at. And I just felt like that I was seeing the future. And I thought, I, I have the skills in, in looking at these movies and, and analyzing them. This is what I need to do. I need to keep working on this.